So my name is Pablo and I come originally from Madrid. I'm based a bit uh, everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm based in Facebook. <laughs> like <laughs> Pablo says, I love the idea. Where well, are you based? Um, I'm based in Facebook. <laughs> and, okay. Yep. Uh, my name is Alessandro. I come from Italy and I live in Italy. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm in London and this is it. Yeah. Uh, I'm Deborah, Deborah Light. Um, I am from the United Kingdom and live in Wales, in Cardiff. Great. Hey, I'm Janet, I'm from my Galicia, but I live in Madrid. And, uh, The, the group, um, you know, because I because I had opportunities before to kind of be in a position of of research without mm -hmm. this pressure of product. Mm -hmm. um, but being in that place with a group of other people, whether I'm working directly with them or not, um, the the dialogue, the the yeah, the knowing that. That other people are maybe struggling with the same things, mm -hmm. or, or or they're struggling with their own things, but it's somehow parallel, mm -hmm. um, and and we can talk and share, and um, and that can just shift. And so, for example, I involved uh, Pablo and uh, Moreno and uh, Marco and uh, Julio. Mm -hmm. My piece, my piece, in my research. Mm -hmm. uh, but of course, when I when I went to ask them, I am, would you like to help me to in my research? Would you like to to make a little step mm -hmm. with me? That is, so it's, it's clear now what I'm talking about. Uh, it's clear that the the, the, the position. The, uh, also, Deborah involved me in some ways in in a, in a, in a project, and uh, for example. It's very normal that we rehearse in one space and uh, someone is watching you or someone is rehearsing in the, in the same <laughs> in the space same, like, at the right same now. moment. How is it going? Oh, it's going very great because because we are having workshop with uh, Rosemary Butcher. That uh, yeah, uh, I think that there are no words necessary to to, to describe this big experience, and uh, we are enjoying our presence and our minds and our bodies. <laughs> <laughs> that is kind of a luxury, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe getting a little bit confused along the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> um, yeah. Maybe it's I don't know something to do with this dislocation also, mm -hmm. like one place and then another place, and how to how to find a way, basically. Mm -hmm. And it's not that it's stressful or problematic. I mean, it is a problem that has to be resolved, but yeah. at the moment it's in this place of not knowing, yeah. of searching. And what would be your comfort zone, or what would make you feel not uh, confused? Um, I don't think it's. I don't think it's not comfortable. Mm -hmm. I think being confused is okay. Uh -huh. It's probably good because <laughs> <laughs> then you have to find something. If you never get confused, then always it's the same path, yeah. maybe. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I just have to um, <laughs> trust yeah. that something will...
It's gone very well. Uh, I'm from Italy. I'm from Sardinia, but based here in London, in the UK. Uh, it's uh, it's a very interesting process. It's um, it's quite rare to be in a situation in which you don't have to produce necessarily yeah. something, so you can just spend time researching. Um, yeah. Yeah, and how do you think that is uh, influencing you? Because, you know, something that I always have been experiencing is there is a lot of talk about working with process, yeah. but normally you put in the back of your mind, okay, I'm going to use this for the next piece mm -hmm. or for the showing on Friday. Mm -hmm. And so, is it, do you think that is uh, helping you in a different way? I mean, it's uh, usually we, we work in a really, um, in a quite pressured context. Uh, so what's, what this has been useful for me is really to um, spend time uh, spend time making work mm -hmm. without the pressure of having to reach a final a final product and that's a really rare uh, mm -hmm. chance um, and also I'm finding out that um, sometimes by not pushing too hard in one direction and letting things happen things do actually happen so uh, so there's something to learn about that. What other things do you, have you felt that is important, perhaps like even go to Italy or? Yeah, it's, it's, it's brilliant to be in different contexts. I mean, for the, for the creativity, it's really good to, uh, to suddenly find yourself in a, uh, in a new environment and uh, also in a place in which you don't have uh, links, you don't have commitments, you don't know people. So everything is pretty much to be discovered and you can really feel free to uh, follow your own rhythm. Have you felt influenced by other people's work in the same mm. group? I did, yes. I think particularly in the first half, in the first part of the project in, in Bassano in Italy, um, the fact of being part of other people's research was very important and, and I learned a lot from it. Uh, I decided though for London to uh, research by myself just to see how. Of course, then there is, a, there is a big contradiction because it's always like this. It's always like a big fight between uh, this idea of producing something and then the need to research and to take the time. Mm -hmm. But in this case, at the end of every week, there is a sharing also. Mm -hmm. Where there's people coming and, okay, it's not a show, whatever. <laughs> but of course, Euphemistically, let's not call it a performance. <laughs> no, it's not a performance, it's a sharing. So you're actually not performing, you're just sharing <laughs> what, you, what you're doing. And then in Bassano, it was very dramatic because we really had light and the audience came and it was the first, the first thing of the B-Motion Festival. Uh -huh. So it was really, it became... Really. Kind of like a on underground pressure about yes, yeah. and then it was like no 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 it's not and but of course it's, it is somehow and here I feel more much more I don't know why because yeah much more relaxed I don't know why I don't have this feeling of the show so so mm -hmm. so strong as we had in Italy yeah. so yeah I don't know I mean, because we did that we 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 we, we did that. That, that, that step, so uh, mm. I think that uh, okay, not, not everything was was w went in the way that we were expecting to, of course. Mm -hmm. So, but that's something that also makes you stronger in some ways, and uh, so maybe 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 also because. We, for example, today I was thinking about putting putting myself uh, alone on this sharing, and it's something that I wouldn't do normally uh, because I think that the materials are very uh, not ready. And uh, but um, it's also a good uh, opportunity to 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 receive a feedback, no? Mm -hmm. And uh, people knows that this is not the the end of the. Of the of the of the experience, so. Um
not it's the best because because there is a lot of things, mm -hmm. but it's something very important how to work uh, to can to can see another uh, people how to work, how feel lost or and uh, you keep uh, you feel that uh, we are all in the same uh, position, no? Mm -hmm. It's uh, and when you saw this around you, I think it's, you you take a more uh, fuerza or mm -hmm. more strength. Yeah. yeah, you feel more okay. I feel lost. I don't know. Maybe it's kind of the it's support okay. of, yeah. of the group. Yeah. But I don't know. For me, it's really nice. I am Marco D'Agostin, I come from Italy, near Venice, and I'm a, a <coughs> so-called choreographer and dancer in Italy, uh, based in Italy. And now I'm here in London for the second step of this color room experience. And uh, in this particular moment I would like to say that I'm working about a new idea that comes direct, directly from one of the main things that are happening in Color Home, uh, which are the misunderstandings. <laughs> because we come from five different countries, and from one point of view, this is the richest part of it, because we really get to know each other in different ways, and etc. But then there is the language, which I'm really interested in. And the language is, <laughs> for most of the time, is like the, a struggle no? mm. to try to find the real words to understand each other, to translate your principles and your ideas. And what happened yesterday during an improvisation that Rosemary Butcher was kind of leading is that she was talking about prints, so when you leave a print on the paper, uh -huh. and I understood for the whole period of the improvisation, prints. So <laughs> I got ins really inspired from this image of the prince and of the king and the kingdom. And being and so, in England. <laughs> yeah, and being in England. Because, you know, in Italy we don't have any more any princes or <laughs> kings. But this is, this is amazing for me because from this kind of misunderstanding, which is real and I, and I cannot avoid this, sure. this, I decided this is my starting point for this, this second part of the research. That's great. Do you feel encouraged of continuing uh, whatever you find in this research to, you know, to be presented outside mm. of this? Or? Of course, even if we always try uh, as a group not to mm -hmm. think about the after color or to think Product. about <laughs> the, or to think about the piece, now because it's quite always about uh, doing a piece, doing a piece, doing a yeah. piece, doing a piece. Uh, of course, the, the, the thought is here, it's yeah. kind of r rambling here. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, when you get in touch with a very good idea or with something that is really touching you, the, I think that it's norm perfectly normal that the thought directly comes to, okay, maybe this can become something more shaped in the future. But I'm forcing myself to think, okay, this is a freedom space and I just want to go for it without thinking about uh, producing. So. part of how the project is constructed, probably, but it's also because of the group, because yeah. you can have, be lucky or not, and I think we all agree that this group, I, I feel that there is a very good um, attitude of uh, sharing, mm -hmm. of really sharing, mm -hmm. so f this means that you really open your process to the others, mm -hmm. and by this you get a lot, so it's very mm -hmm. enriching. But of course, you're sharing, so you're not. No one, you don't expect anyone to steal something. It, it could never happen. But can reuse? You've given it anyway. Because you're giving it exactly. Yeah. So, so can the, can the people reuse perhaps some of, of stuff? I don't know. Like it's a, that course, is an interesting I thing. Mind. I mean, it would be so. Yeah, of course, we we're working together in a way. We're, yeah. I'm working on my thing, but I feel that we're working together. So if one day, Deborah does a step that I created. <laughs> 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 like anyway, what can you steal? Like, of course, in, I, can, I understand in software is different, but we all like 
Yeah. What, what could you? What, I don't know. Uh, are you documenting, you uh, writing about this? Are you publishing? There is a group of uh, a, a team of writers. Uh -huh. There is okay. a team of writers. Very nice. Yes. So <laughs> <laughs> in every period, it's a different team. So in yeah. Bassano, it was uh, Julia, and here we met them this morning. It's mm. two a man and a woman, and there is a blog. Mm -hmm. But you it write, or, or the, the, the choreographers, you as uh, we can, uh, write. people who mm. uh, I write a lot. Mm. Yeah. But published <laughs> in the blog? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Huh? No. Ah, you not can. Yet. We can publish it. You, you can do it, but yeah. no, it's not done very much. In Bassano, we did it because the second week of Bassano, we were just watching the performances from B-Motion. Mm -hmm. So we were having this exercise, which was called translations. Mm -hmm. So we, we watched uh, shows, and then we could do a translation of the thing. What we, mm -hmm. So it was not a review. Mm -hmm. It was an isp something inspired by this. So it could be a text or just a link for a YouTube video, whatever. I'm Susan Gilson and I'm originally from the UK but actually I'm representing uh, the Netherlands uh, this time. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a choreographer. This part of the roaming strange. Part of the roaming, yeah, it's part of the roaming. We're all kind of uh, representing countries sometimes we're not coming from or we're, uh, that are our origin which is, is also interesting in itself. It reflects yeah. the time we live in. Yeah. Um, I'm a choreographer and a coach and a teacher and uh, sometimes many other things. Yeah. Um, so I'm here, and I think my experience of choreo um, has many different viewpoints. I think for myself, one of the things I value very much is it's like bracketing out all the other parts of my life <laughs> that I can purely concentrate on on the choreography and the, and, and the making and the making process. And to be here with, of course, much younger um, <laughs> Um, companions. Um, well, that's part of the diversity. Part. Yeah, absolutely. You know, no, really I really cool. appreciate that, and that's also an experience I want to say in itself for me, and a very uh, inspiring one. Um, I think right now what I I'm experiencing is, you know, the confrontation of making something in a, in a few days. But on the other hand, it's 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 also um, that confrontation is exciting. That I've found myself working in a totally different way and I think working in a totally different way because of the influences of the other people here and also the yeah, the context we're in. Yeah. Do you think that there is uh, still you know like this perhaps this pressure of show the, of product because of the showing on Friday? I think it's very hard to, I mean I think everybody all everybody involved in this whole choreo room is doing their best not to put the pressure there but there is a pressure, <laughs> even if it's an inside pressure. Yeah. And I think it's interesting to work with trying to diffuse that pressure yeah. also and keeping that, you know, okay, yeah. this is... What, what are the strategies that are facilitated to diffuse that pressure, Ooh. if there are? Because that would be interesting, it's not just to say it, it's actually... Um, well, I think, it, I, think it's it? About, it, I think it's about walking the talk. Mm -hmm. You know, people say it, and uh, then it's repeated, and it's it's really in in the practice we're doing. Mm -hmm. uh, there isn't a focus on on product in any moment. So mm -hmm. I think, like I said, yeah, walking yeah, the it's talk. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's and, and that's what I believe in. Yeah. You know, it's like you, a standing. You know, you just walk, and you have to have this alignment to be able to walk. Yes. You know, so. Absolutely, I think to to be able to put in to, to put into action to do rather than talk about it. How do you think that the presence of other artists in this is so close and, and you know, long, you know, and diverse pro, uh, kind of ongoing exchange is influencing you? 
Oh, a lot, I think. I think also the dislocation. I mean, uh -huh. um, of uh, being in another city, and I think it's important to explore that city too. I mm -hmm. mean, otherwise you can be in a studio. This could be in. Uh, yeah. It could be anywhere. It could be New York. I mean, it's, it's like kind of this. Yeah. Uh, but to explore the city where you are, the arriving here, to being with many different cultures, yeah. uh, different backgrounds, it or it just it it how do you say it mixes anyway. You know, it has an influence. It's influential. Yes, uh, it, it cannot not be.